did one thing. First of all, I did the all planning. For so for the planning, the first step was to remove all the bad words, eliminate or scrap out each and every bad word that was there. My mother tongue was Hindi, so I uh-huh. used to learn Hindi. Uh, mm-hmm. First, I did to master my that mother tongue that is Hindi. I scrapped out each and every bad word. I just eliminated it, and then I uh, went on to speak English. So for that, I used to call on the OEMs, that is the mobile operator. First, that was oh. of Airtel, Vodafone. Uh-huh. Yes. Service centers. Yes, customer care. Great. Wait. Yes, more than thousand calls, more than thousand calls, more than five hundred oh, chat, more than two hundred emails I've done. Oh, you are a crazy learner again! Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's fine. Yeah, right. Okay. Hello. Okay. How are you? How are your days going? I am good. Everything is going good. Fantastic. What about you? Yeah, the day is going well so far. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Okay, since we are meeting for the very first time, so I would like to know about yourself. Sure. Uh, actually, my name is Pushkar Chain. I am from Mumbai, Maharashtra. But right now, I am dwelling in my village. That is my native place. That is Udaipur, Rajasthan. Okay, that's why you know, as you mentioned, I am from Mumbai, Maharashtra. I was right. thinking like your accent is not uh, like a southern people. So yeah, you are from Udaipur, Rajasthan. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I am from Mumbai, Maharashtra, but my native place. So right now I am over here. Okay. So now you are in Mumbai. Okay, okay. But you have the mother tongue influence. No, 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 no. I live in Mumbai only. But right you now I am in my village. You were brought up in Mumbai only. Right. Right now I am in my okay. village. The vacations okay. are going. Great, great, great. And yes. what do you do? Actually, I am a student right now, and mm-hmm. I have just now taken my exams of 12th standard. Okay. And after that, I am planning to do CA, that is Chartered Accountant. Yeah, my ambition right. is from that. I am very oh, ambitious. Wow. Great, great, great! And I am happy that you are working on your communication skills at very early age, and that's very true. It's not okay. that much early, but still better than us. Right. Like, like we have started right. after graduation. <laughs> no, actually, I have been practicing this soft skills or this English communication skills for last three years. It's been wow. more than three. Years. Yeah, yes. I can see that in your speaking and in your fluency. Yeah, you are absolutely you are working. Okay, so as you mentioned, like you have been learning this language, uh, you have been working on this skill for three years now. So I am just three. really more than three years. Okay. Yes. I would love to listen your journey of your English speaking fluency uh, sure. when you started and what are the difficulties you felt you you know faced initially. Yes, actually the difficulties is there in every journey, in every yes. voyage. The difficulty, but you have to learn to tackle with them, and you have to learn. You means it means that you have to come out from your potential. Everyone has a potential, right? But they yeah. don't. That they are unable to do so. I uh-huh. recognized my potential at a very early age, and that's the only reason. My ambition was to become a public orator, but uh, after that, my mom said that instead of doing that, you can focus on you can do both of these things simultaneously. And my ambition was to become that. Actually, I started my journey. uh when i was in my ninth standard actually the lo- lockdown was going on so what did i did that as uh, my classes were online after my uh, school cl- online classes used to get end i did one thing first of all i did the all planning for so for the planning the first step was to remove all the bad words eliminate or scrap out each and every bad word that was there my mother tongue was hindi so i uh-huh. used to learn hindi uh, mm-hmm. first i tried to master my that mother tongue that is hindi i scrapped out each and every bad word i just eliminated it and then i uh, went on to speak english so for that i used to call on the oems that is the mobile operator first that was oh. of airtel vodafone uh-huh. yes service centers And, yes customer care great great yes more than 1000 calls more than 1000 calls more than 500 oh, chat more than 200 emails i have done 
Oh, you are a crazy learner again. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's it's an interesting journey. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. And then there was an app. Uh, I was not aware about this IELTS exam. Uh, then I went out to search on the Play Store for the speaking rooms. Then there was an app which was called as Leap Scholar. Then I okay. spoke to more than thousand people over there. There were more than hundred native speakers. It was just free of cost and without any time limit. You can speak to them. So the whole night, two to three, three to six. I used to do. I used oh to do that. God. Yes. Oh. Wow. Yes. I just did that, and I got to learn so many things from them. Actually, they were planning for the IELTS exam, which you might be aware of. That yes. it, it is uh, to go abroad. Yeah, that is of two types. That it is of academic IELTS if you want to go for your further studies, and then it was mm -hmm. of general IELTS if you want to go for uh, as a working profession. Mm -hmm. I did that. I, I got to learn so much from them. Then I said to them that thank you so much. And after some time, and after a, a, one year, usually it became uh, a place where we have to pay for it. <laughs> then everyone. Okay. Everyone just got out from this. Now there's no. But one, you had, not a but you had used it for uh, used it for one year. Yes, more than a year. Oh, wow, wow, wow! So you took your benefits from there already. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's great. That's great. Okay. And, uh, I used the website, and there's a <laughs> small app which was named as Speakpal. <laughs> okay. Yes, from there I used to connect. Most of the people were from Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, okay. But uh, many people, so I got to learn okay. from them as well. And they have just said that uh, that uh, we love your accent. Then I said that it is a youth. It is a long journey. Mm hmm. It is a long journey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I I want to share a small incident that happened with me. That mm -hmm. I was in a competition. Uh, it was as a memorable incident in my college, mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. standard. When that I won a trophy in some of the sport. What happened that I was called on the stage and I was asked to say something. At the time, uh, that was the first trophy that I have achieved in my whole mm -hmm. uh, school, in my whole childhood. What I did that I was asked to say something, but I was very nervous. There was I had butterflies in my stomach, in my oh whole my brain. God. Yes, we are all, we are always very nervous that we have to speak in full in front of each and every one. So English is full of fun, right? It is full of fun. I can't say that I'm totally speechless. I don't have anything to say. Instead of saying that, I tried to do something innovative, it's very creative. Mm -hmm. Said mm -hmm. I'm so fragilistic, expialidocious. I said like that. None of them, <laughs> okay. knew, meaning. None of them uh -huh. knew the meaning. And the simple <laughs> meaning was I'm speechless. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Actually, it's the three to thirty-five letter word. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Uh huh. So your mother told you to uh, work on your soft skills. This and especially right. speaking in English, that's that's great right. because our parents, even in in uh, many uh, native, uh, like uh, in any uh, state, people like parents do, don't know that much, uh, right. you know, value of English speaking. They don't know. That's why they don't even suggest. They they also take it as a subject, like they are learning as a subject. Yeah. My mom always says one thing that a mother tongue that is Hindi or any language. Is our identity? We can't yes. neglect that. But English is a language that is a necessity. Yeah. Nowadays it is a necessity. Yeah. It is. Yeah, I can say. So I want to ask you one question. Like many people have this doubt in their mind, and many YouTubers also making this. I guess. Uh, I guess uh, making people uh, in in putting people in confusion and many. Uh, you know, uh, paid sessions, paid courses, also saying same thing like okay. learn English in one month, or learn English in uh, uh, fifteen days. So, what would you like to say about that? Uh, about that statement? 
if you want to get acquainted with any of the language if you want to get familiar to it you have there's mm-hmm. only one way you have to keep communicating or you have to keep conversating with people but mm-hmm. if you go to pay something it's of no use actually i have also wasted my 6500 it was an offline coaching institution i used mm-hmm. to go over there but that's of mm-hmm. no use no use at yeah. time of inquiry they do that they do this they all tell about their useful benefits but at the last at the conclusion consequently it's of no use so if you want to yes. learn any language try to uh, make the plan try to do planning mm-hmm. before, whenever you mm-hmm. want to execute something so even yeah. if you you are planning something and it doesn't executes well but there's everything if there is plan a there is plan b as well so that's what yeah. it happens and right. the story of a man whose name is shashi tharur who is very mm-hmm. famous i hope yeah. you are also aware of the same yeah yeah there are many words which he has in- introduced like toxinosis mm-hmm. libelification mm-hmm. yes there are many words like that can i quotch you can i have a quotch quotch with you means a hug it is yes. a welsh word it is a welsh word but you he introduced this in english for the very first time so that's what it happened Mm-hmm. so uh, we can clearly say like no one can learn a language in a month or in 15 days it is a lifelong journey you have to you know even it is a lifelong and you have to do every single work on every single day you cannot miss yeah you have to maintain the consistency also so i believe uh, rajni ma'am what do i believe is that learning is a process right from the birth till the eternity yes till the eternity we can speak but we have to learn each and every day mm-hmm. we are learning that's fine but we have to speak as well till the time we are not speaking our confidence is not going to boost up so we have oh, to yeah. do each and everything simultaneously yes yes and you know i have noticed that like you are using very uh, nice words while speaking and your grammar is also correct so everything is uh, the reason behind this is only the speaking practice like you have devoted 5 hours in a day and as you mentioned in the night 3 to 6 kind of hours. only that or uh, you do reading also yeah reading is very important nowadays yes you would have said that uh, most of the the childhood or the youngsters don't read newspapers at all but i do yes. that there is a english uh-huh. channel if you have Uh, noticed it on youtube that let's talk english there was a let's teacher that said, yes mm-hmm. you can check it out it's okay. very useful. i'll check it out yeah it has more than 6.5 million subscribers wait, 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 a, second. wait yeah. a second wait okay so you were saying about a let's talk english channel yeah right there is a ma'am uh, niharika ma'am it is her name she has said one thing that reading is very essential Uh, mm-hmm. the man shakeru himself says that if he wouldn't have read so many books in his very young age he wouldn't have been a public speaker right now the words okay. that he know it's just because of the reading practice that he had mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. reading is okay. very important if you're learning something if you're listening to someone it is fine but you have to do reading as well at least 30 minutes a day you have to devote for that till the time you don't read you are not going to get ideas in your mind and if you don't have any ideas in your mind you are not going to get ideas at the time you are speaking and finally or at the last you are going to fumble you are going mm, to stand yeah. which yeah, is right. you feel embarrassed mm-hmm. which is of no so you yeah. have to develop a habit of reading as well mm-hmm. so when i have a question popping yes. in my up in my mind like if we even we are reading we are watching listening to many people and we come across many new words but uh, uh, any if we come across any new word we forget about, uh, about uh, after two or three days if we are not using so how to remember for a long period of time first of all there's no need to get uh, depressed or like that that i'm yes. forgetting the word there's no yes. need to go, go over that and whenever mm-hmm. you are learning any new word don't go for too many words don't go for too many words learn at least two to three because we know mm-hmm. what is our potential how yes. much short term or how much long term memory do we have that we know 
we know better yeah. than everyone else so we shouldn't get our mind affected by anyone else out there mm-hmm. he said that i learned 10 words 20 words or 25 words for example uh, there was a sir uh, who said to me there is a very beautiful word he has said that embezzle the meaning is mm-hmm. to steal something he didn't say he didn't say the meaning he, he said the word and then he say said the sentence like i'm here to embezzle some new words some new vocabulary from you it means mm-hmm. to steal so mm-hmm. we get the meaning by listening to the sentence we can imagine it would not be accurate it won't be precise but yes we can wonder we can imagine and that's the thing which everyone can do as i as i can say that i am here to embezzle some of the new learnings or some of the new words from you very right. simple yes yes so there's no need so there's no need to learn each and every word but yes as you keep on reading till the time you don't evaluate yourself that what kind of a potential you have you won't be able mm-hmm. to do you or you won't be able to become successful yeah you said it very right and i one thing um, like vast knowledge about english uh, don't you think like you should start something like uh, you should spread this knowledge with learners because there are many people who have these kind of questions queries related because everyone every indians i think needs to learn english nowadays i'm not talking yes. about the previous generation i'm talking about our generation and upcoming generation everyone needs to learn gen z right yes 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 Yes. so don't you ever uh, have you ever thought like start a youtube channel or make reels on instagram something yes i have thought this idea has also came even in my mind but instead mm-hmm. of that i have thought once i should develop a habit of making good ideas that is a good proverb like that i've made like okay. this english are that a mother tongue is our identity but english is a necessity like this kind of a proverb i used to write on my status on my dp that is my profile picture so that the people mm-hmm. can know this because uh, the short reels the people don't like to learn the people is always interacted or they are always busy in uh, interfacing the or scrolling the reels making or uploading a new picture so you have mm-hmm. to be very enthusiastic Mm-hmm. Till then, very habitual to it. You won't be able to do something like. Means, uh, many of the time I have noticed one thing that for the very first day they are very enthusiastic, but the second or the third day it again comes back to the yes. normal. Yes. They, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This this question is in my mind. Like you have been learning uh, more than five years, uh, three years now. So I want to know that how you made yourself very consistent and. Uh, Uh, you know motivated yourself all was the time of the lockdown you might be aware of that and i yes. was in my ninth standard the final exams were going on but the exams were cancelled and i just had the vacation so i just mm-hmm. utilized my each and every second in that that's what did happened so i made the best time of the quarantine of the lockdown i did that yeah. that's what did happen but uh, nowadays the he- it is a very hectic schedule it is mm-hmm. very hectic so even if you are devoting a time it has to be very precise precise right right i got to know many new words <laughs> from you <laughs> and thank you so much for connecting we know these mm-hmm. words don't get to listen yeah. yes yeah right 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 so now uh, what are you doing nowadays like you have used many applications you devoted uh, much time on that so what are you doing nowadays like yeah uh, the last app which i have said is of uh, speak well right if i would have mm-hmm. if you if i if i am not wrong what usually happens over there that the people are not usually for learning they are not mm-hmm. seldom learners they are usually mm-hmm. to speak to a girl that's what mm-hmm. it happens wherever you go if i talk about the app called as high local many apps like this i can give you mm-hmm. n number of apps the people are not very seldom so that's what it happens so if yes. you are not seldom, if you are not serious enough you won't be able to learn this language or right. you would not be able to become articulated or you would not mm-hmm. be able to become fluent enough yes so what are you doing nowadays 
uh, right now uh, nowadays i'm just doing one thing that i'm devoting my time uh, usually an hour to speak to someone like this is the first video that i am having mm -hmm. or a first conversation that i am having with you actually mm -hmm. i have mailed with many of them and i hope you are also aware of the same that i have mailed you few days before what you are replying me today okay yeah yeah uh, yeah i yeah. was a bit busy yeah no problem no problem at all so i just do that and i try to mm -hmm. have a conversation rather than wasting my time or uh, rather than squandering my time over there on these yeah. apps because there's of no use and also the girls they feel insecure of that they are very mm -hmm. insecure because the people yes. they use uh, foul language the vulgarity has more increased nowadays yes. that's what you have to be aware of and many mm -hmm. learners are on this thought in their mind they are just removing themselves from learning this language right 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 even they are and you know affecting others too last if it is at a free of cost everyone would join the vulgarity would increase because of yes. this the paid subscription is increasing on the apps like right. camly many apps like that yes 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 so true but uh, uh, somewhere like camly clappingo english shari these platforms are you know helping people to speak in uh, offline coaching people just uh, you know teach you as a grammar as a la subject Uh, still as a subject they are not making you speak so on these platforms even you are getting 15 minutes or 20 minutes but you are they are available uh, tutor available to correct you and you need to speak there and that is i guess most important uh, plays a significant role in uh, your communication skill to just speak even for 20 minutes yes as much as this is concerned about the offline coaching institution yes they teach you but most of the institutions what do they usually they go for debates discussion okay. yes and they make you to speak in front of 10 to 15 people and they just say you one thing that no one is going to laugh at you or you are not going to feel embarrassed or yourself so just be confident enough and speak whatever you have in your mind even if you humble don't worry at all no one is yeah. going to say a uh, very single thing then this is i guess good this is i don't know these days because some uh, one or two of uh, like learners have uh, have shared with me their experience like they have joined offline coaching and they didn't get a uh, benefit from there so they just left that's why i'm saying because uh, personally i haven't joined any offline coaching yeah actually yeah. that's of no use you at the last mm -hmm. yes even if you say that i want to go for learning you are very habitual for it and at the last at the ending day you would just say to them one thing that it's of no use it is of yeah. it is of yes right right so uh it's now 24 minutes would you like uh, like do you have any question that you would like to ask a very simple question is there in my mind that is there a need of devoting a money or wasting your hard earned money in learning this language so what is the question exactly I'm, i i didn't catch to be waste our money or not to waste should we devote our money in learning any language not of english but yes. of learning any yes. language yes this is a skill and if you are it's no i i don't consider it is a waste of money i consider it is an investment in yourself you are uh, upgrading yourself in terms of skills in terms of speaking in terms of personality development whatever you want to call it but th that's why i don't consider it as a waste of money i consider it is a investment for us and if you are uh, investing for education purpose this is the best one yes but you have to be aware that is it is it of use or it is of no use that you have to be well aware of you have to check the reviews and each and everything i respect yes. you Yeah. respect your perception i have uh -huh. a perception you have a perception and there's right. a bound difference in the perception so everyone uh -huh. should respect another's perception and that's at all right 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 for me it is a waste of money but for you it is an investment so I respect yes. everyone's perception mm -hmm. yes and yeah, nowadays Every you can find a uh, uh, free of cost also like many people but 
from from uh, like paid sessions you will get feedback also where you can work yeah. properly you know in free you will go here they are watch random people talk with random uh, talking right. with random is okay that you are practicing there but platform of uh, knowledge like content on youtube when you are watching random videos and consume because it is free of cost yeah i like to add something just a small thing that that was there was a app which i just said before as well that sleep scholar mm -hmm. that app was full of ielts aspirant who want to go abroad so there mm -hmm. were many free sessions which i used to attend so i got mm -hmm. the feedback from them as well i used to do my speaking there as well so i got the feedback from them as well and that's true that till the time you don't have guru in your in your life that's the teacher there yes. there would be no one that nor e nor even it would be a, a your friend or your closest friend because we are humans and there's a very good proverb to err is human it means to make a mistake is a human but to repeat the same mistakes again and again is not called as a human yeah so right right that's the another side as well there's a flip side and the merit side as well if you look at it but nowadays if you want proper feedback to you need to spend the money nowadays it's not free free of course you can just talk with random you know co learners not with the proper tutor so yeah so do you that's also charge something mm -hmm. do you also charge or do you have your own institution or something do i do random conversations like this i right now i we are we are doing but i give paid sessions to if someone needs Okay. because the uh, appreciation i cannot conduct with uh, a single person for many days because i'm getting every single day today itself i got five mails so if i am taking uh, like with you every single day then how would i tackle all these emails but if you are a, a person who is learning with me i need to make you know proper schedule for you so that's why okay so it's great speaking to you uh, yeah, just same here for ending uh -huh. can i say something yes yes i hope your day ends with a smile on your face keep keep smiling keep be blessed thank you so much thank you thank you so much for connecting and thank you so much for good wishes Very and yeah bye bye have a great day it was really nice talking to you thank you bye bye